Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Thirsty Thursday, but it's also National Hot Dog Day. So last week, if you watched, we did on Thirsty Thursday, it was National Rib Day, Baby Back Rib Day. So we did cocktail ribs. So you can imagine if this week is National Hot Dog Day, we are going to be working with cocktail weenies. <laughs> Before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food, fun, and what is normally drinks on Thursday, but is appetizers today, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and be sure to check below for the description. It will tell you how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. Okay, so we are gonna work with some little cocktail weenies or in other words, some little smokies and we are gonna make these the best way that I know how and that is to put them with some cream cheese and stuff it inside of a jalapeno, wrap it in bacon and put it under the broiler. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to get started with a package of bacon. I think this is a 12 ounce package and we just want to cook this to about like halfway. We don't want it to where it's crispy. We want to be able to bend it, you know, and wrap it around our jalapenos. So I'm going to put this in the oven 400 degrees for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes or so, just until it's about halfway done. All right. So while we get the bacon ready in the oven, the next thing we want to do is work on our jalapenos. So I don't know, I have, I don't know, 10, 15 jalapenos here. It just depends on how many little smokies you have, how many jalapenos you have. These, I usually try to find the smaller ones, but I don't have, actually I did have some smaller ones in the garden and I went and bought these instead. <laughs> anyway, these are a little bit bigger than what I prefer. So I'll probably actually stuff, you know, two or three little sausages in here, depending on how big they are. But what I want to do is just kind of split it lengthwise and you definitely want to wear some gloves for this. But I usually do this over the sink and kind of rinse as I go. You want to get all the seeds out as much as you can without tearing the jalapeno apart and all the little veins out too. So like I said, I normally do this over the sink and I'll probably transfer all these over to the sink. And that way I can rinse as I go and make sure I'm getting all the seeds out. But we just kind of want to hollow it out. And then that way we're making room for our cream cheese and our little smoky. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer these over to the sink, finish this up. The other thing I'm going to do is take an eight ounce package of cream cheese and I'm probably gonna throw that in the microwave for just, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds or so just to get it softened up and that way it's gonna be easier to stuff inside the jalapenos. And I will open up my little smokies, get those ready and get my hands all washed and hopefully our bacon should be about half done by then. Okay, our bacon is about half done so I've got it back there cooling off. I took some of the little smokies and I cut them in half because I don't think two full ones will fit in here and I don't think one is gonna be enough. So I cut some of them in half so I can do like one and a half. And then I also decided I'm going to throw in a little bit of cheddar cheese with my cream cheese. So when I get to the grocery store and I buy jalapeno poppers, I never know. Do I pick the ones that have the, the cheddar cheese or the ones that have the cream cheese? Because I like them both. You know, when you go to a restaurant, they usually have one or the other. So you just have to take what they give you. But today we can mix both of these together. We can do a little bit of both. Okay. So now I'm going to take my jalapenos and I am just going to start putting a little bit of cream cheese in here just like that and then we're going to follow that up with however many wieners we can get to fit in here <laughs> just like that all right and these don't have to be perfect so let's go ahead and stuff another one And then I'm just going to keep doing this until I get all of these completely stuffed and then we're going to wrap our bacon around them. All right, now once we have all of our jalapenos stuffed, now we just need about a half a piece of bacon per jalapeno and we are just going to wrap it all the way around. Actually, we might need a full piece of bacon. <laughs> we're going to wrap it all the way around and we're going to secure this with a toothpick. Just like so. Lay it on our tray and we'll move on to the next one. So yeah, I think we might need a full piece of bacon because these are pretty big jalapenos. Now these are going to get slippery and messy, <laughs> but it is possible to do. All right, so we'll secure this one with a toothpick again. And I'm just going to keep going until I get all of these wrapped. All right, and last one right here. Like I said, these get pretty darn messy. <laughs> anyway, I still have the oven set to 400 degrees, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven and I'm gonna cook them until the bacon is crisp and the cheese is all nice and melty. I better wash my hands first. <laughs> 
All right, I just pulled these from the oven just a few minutes ago. They're not the prettiest things in the world. The presentation is lacking a little bit, but I can guarantee these are some of the best jalapeno poppers you are ever going to eat. So I'm going to try to save the better looking ones, like maybe this one, this one for my picture, and this one that's just about completely falling apart here, I'm going to take off and move over to this plate. Let's push this out of the way. Oh, over there. There we go. Grab my fork and my knife. Man, look at that crunchy bacon. Let's see if we can cut a little piece off the end here. So we can get a piece of bacon, a piece of jalapeno, and a piece of a little smoky. I'll have to blow on this. Tastes just as good as I thought it was going to. <laughs> if you can imagine taking the bun off of a hot dog and replacing it with a jalapeno, <laughs> and instead of putting mustard or relish on top, you put cream cheese and top it with bacon. So, so good. You guys definitely have to, especially if you're a fan of jalapeno poppers, like I said, so you can do the cream cheese or you can do the shredded cheddar or you can do like I did and you can do a little bit of both. But you definitely got to give this a try because these are so, so good. And I can guarantee they are going to disappear fast if you make these for a party. So I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.